And I wonder when, the, what if, do you think they'll be sell, trying to sell new ETFs on shit coins into uh, the bear market? That'll be interesting. I think a couple companies will try it and it's going to not get much steam. I think the bear market, we're going to start seeing net outflows in the bear market. It's not hard to tell. I mean, nothing crazy. I mean, well, yeah, probably some crazy in relative terms and stuff like that. But, but sometimes, you know, like VCs, uh, and different aspects of crypto are like they're late to get, they're late out of the party, essentially, right? When the party's ended, they're still like, you know, trying, have, trying try to get one more drink, you know? <laughs> I mean, I think maybe they'll do it, but I think it won't have any effect other than the temporary. Oh, no, that's that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It'll catch a lot of people, like, off guard because they were like, I trusted Wall Street. They right. told me the bull market. I trusted going. Wall Street. What a famous last <laughs> word. <laughs> I trusted Wall Street. No, they won't they won't admit it, but some people still do. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they still fall for it, hook, line, and sinker. Yeah. Um, pop, I mean, well... I mean, I got a lot of bullish case for Bitcoin. The thing is, is at some point, like we'll have to see how how much how holy they treat it. We're gonna have to see how holy they treat it. You know, that's the only thing. So, like, um, we'll see. I mean, right now they've they've done nothing like it, like in a Solana ETFs. Not like I mean, it's not impossible. Like it's pro it's very VC backed. There's another coin I'm not gonna mention. <laughs> uh, that's very VC backed as well. Um, and we'll see if they if they they may not even go into the meme coin sector. Maybe they just keep it really like protocol l1 protocol and that's where they keep it at but we'll have to see how close if they if, the interesting thing is that like um we'll have to see how far they delve into it and really and that's going to be the game of like the etfs and stuff but regardless it's really it's a really good boon plus two like well, oh my god why haven't things do the ethereum etfs aren't even fully online or yet and the purchases have been happened for Ethereum. so like like and it's not even going to happen until sometime in july most likely yeah so but it's going to happen hot boy summer is here you know, so start buying your fuck. You know, start dieting, start going to the gym, and start <laughs> start buying your stuff. So, like, hey, screw all that, just hit the beach. <laughs> super chat, some guy saying that like, um, I think it was Juan Ray. He has some super chat where like he thinks Bitcoin's going to twelve grand. I'm like, bro, it, like, like I, I'm hopefully it's uh, hopefully you're just joking around and stuff like that. that ain't happening, bro. That just no way. Hey, he's, I'll buy. To, he's been listening to too much Gareth Soloway, it seems. Bro. <laughs> I mean, they were, the only way can, that could happen. Is if the Bitcoin developers, all one of two of them, mm. fuck up on the code, and there's an inflation bug. The that's really hopefully not, but like that's the only way I could see that happening. Besides that, I'm a willing retard to buy it at that low price. That ain't happening, bro. It's like <laughs> Bitcoin gets anywhere near back down to the twenties or fifteen thousands, bro. It's not hitting twelve, bro. That's not happening. Yeah, I mean, like again, something crazy would have to happen to world markets for bitcoin to drop that much too like especially after the halving so like mm, let we could look at the chart later or something but like i'd be like saying like i'm very confident bitcoin well i know bitcoin will never go below 25k ever again it's most likely not going below 30k possibly not going below 40k ever again like yeah. that's kind of where i'm at right now um which is interesting especially after this next pump because uh, like now is the time. If it was going to go below forty, this is the time. If it's going to happen, but if we start ramping back up, that didn't happen anymore. Yeah, the, the long it's we right now. Okay, so there's going to be different hourglasses that we have to spin when we come to cycles, right? So the current hourglass that we have already turned over, and we're waiting for the sand to get out of it. Essentially, say time's up, motherfuckers. You know, hopefully, you bought bags, right? Yeah. Is the uh, post having pump hourglass, right? right. So within six months post having we've never not pumped within six months so as uh, six months after the having will be mid-october right so as we kind of burn the cycle here a little bit more and more and more you know yeah. that pump is right around the corner like could it happen tomorrow sure could it happen in two months sure right we don't know which way which way or when it exactly will happen but we just watch each each 60 day cycle and there will be clues along the way the main clue is bitcoin gets to new all time highs time to be in your positions by that point because shit's going to get real and it's going to get good but that's i think an hourglass that a lot of people right now they just can't they don't visualize that that as much as they should be i think and then next year the one hourglass that's going to be important in terms of profit taking right is end of cycle band 
right? Right now, that would be between April of next year to, let's say, November of next year. And then as we get into that and we kind of time starts going narrower and narrower, right? We get more top singles potentially as we get deeper into that band, um, you know, more aggressive profit taking should be had. So those are the two, like aggressive buying is now, right? And then that time is running out and then aggressive selling is next year. And that time, you know, is still plenty far away. So, but I think a lot of people, they don't simplify it that way. A lot of people are just like, uh, uh, a recession's right around the corner because there hasn't been one officially declared. You know, well, they changed their fucking definition. So, sorry. <laughs> you know, you ain't getting that. It's not I going mean, back to that 12K. 